Hey students, welcome to an academy in English. I'm your biology educator Ambika Sharma and in today's video I am going to tell you about the salary that doctors earn and even the salary of different professions like of BMS, right, the nursing courses, the BDA, the BDS, the BHMS. So I'm going to tell you about their true salary. So you must be thinking that ma'am, we are not trying to get admission in MBBS just to earn the money. We don't want to be a doctor just to earn the money. But let me tell you students, okay, fine. It's a noble profession. You want to help others. But somewhere we also need money for our survival. We also need money to take care of our needs and to take care of our family's need. So basically we need that. That is also a way to uh, we, that is also a way to get motivated that okay fine this is what I am going to earn after doing all that courses so let's give it a try but 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 one more thing I would like to say that students you will be amazed to know that even after studying for so many years maybe maybe you won't earn that good after becoming a doctor right not at least in your early 30s Maybe later, but not at least in your early 30s. So this video is actually going to give you a reality check. So let's get started. Let's talk about the MBBS first because those who opt biology, right? Majority of students, they want to join the MBBS. They want to crack their NEET UG examination, right? But we know that the competition is too high in this examination. The number of seats are limited. So only few students they are able to go to or they are able to take admission in the MBBS courses. So let's talk about the MBBS first. So when you talk about this particular course, it is for 4.5 years and one year internship. Obviously, it is compulsory. So if I talk about the internship, if you are thinking that after internship, you are going to get 60,000 to 80,000 per month. No, it's a big no so with the internship right with see for 4.5 years you are not going to get anything you are not going to get anything you have to study for 4.5 years right but huh, if you are if you will join a amc pune then in that case monthly a basic stipend is given but otherwise in other medical colleges you are not going to get the stipend for this time period now when it comes to the internship in the internship yes doctors they get the money right they get the money but again it varies from state to state like in some states it is just 11,000 rupees yes for that one year internship you will get 11,000 rupees in some states it can be from 30,000 to 40,000 rupees sorry 20,000 to 40,000 rupees so it vary from state to state okay so on an average you can consider that uh, 15 or 20,000 you can get okay so let's say after MBBS obviously not all the not all the MBBS students they go for the MD MS or DNB that is the master degree right or the diploma they don't go not all the students they go for it because they have to prepare for it again they need to crack the examination so some students they crack it in uh, you can say that in their first attempt or some students they need six months or one year of the preparation then they go for it and some students they even give two two years to crack the examinations so obviously when you are preparing you are not going to get anything yes you are not going to get anything obviously when you will join the MD course then uh, MD MS or DNB then you will get certain amount so, so so some people after MBBS right they when they work in hospitals yes then they can get on an average 60,000 to 80,000 rupees if they are in a good state if they are in a good private medical hospital right if they are in a good state again this also varies state to state and even after mbbs some uh, they crack the government examination right they start working in the rural areas right accordingly they get the money so sometimes starting is also 35000 to 40000 in some states right students so this is about it this is about the mbbs directly after mbbs if you go for the government uh, you know jobs right but like in some in dispensaries or something then I'm telling you that starting amount can be 35,000 40,000 and then increment will be there so let's say if you go for MD MS and DNB again for three years this course is for three years so if I talk about again here the the salary amount varies to, uh, from state to state right so on an average somewhere in the range 50,000 to 90,000 it is so on an average you can consider 60,000 right this is what you can consider then super speciality DM MCH right so they are the super speciality courses so again here right the, the you have to study for two to three years right but and here yes it can be somewhere in you know 90,000 to 1 lakh 
it can reach there right it can reach there i'll i'll add a few more things here just to you know give you a reality check so see some students they clear their neat examination their first attempt or two or second or third attempt okay some after directly after 12 some taking a drop or uh, taking a drop of two years then they qualify so on an average you can say that by the time you will complete your mbbs you will be 23 24 years old and you can be 25 years old so see sometimes some people that are 25 years old when they uh, those who are 25 years old when they complete their mbbs means they are going to get nothing right they have to join the mdms and then they will get something right right so you can say that uh, uh, that average age by the time that someone will be in mdms or dnb the average age will be uh, 25 26 okay 25 years this is what you can consider right so when you will be in super speciality then obviously when you will be doing super speciality then obviously again you have to go to those doctors uh, go to the hospitals you have to again you will work like a doctor of course then again you are getting a salary because these are the courses where you have to practice more you have to go to the hospitals you have to serve right and obviously you are getting a good amount of salary a decent amount of salary so you can say that doctors they have to study a lot they have to study uh, for uh, seven to eight years even to get 1 lakh rupees per month they have to study 7 to 8 years okay so if a like let's say if someone is doing this dm msh mch courses from a very good college from center center funded hospitals not the colleges hospitals of course from the center funded hospital then they can get good amount of salary they can get somewhere in the range of 1 lakh to 2 lakh like it can be 1.2 lakh 1.5 lakh it can be like this right but if you are again in you are doing these uh, courses from the state medical colleges then it can also be somewhere in between 80,000 to 1 lakh right so this amount varies so in center funded hospitals the salary will be more like aims like PGI MER Chandigarh okay so doctors right uh, as per their expectation they don't get the salary like even after uh, you know completing their courses if they go to the private if they go to the private hospitals if they join good private hospitals so initially they can get 2 lakhs per month right they can get 1.5 lakh 2 lakhs per month so with age with age right with increase in experience right in a very good case in a you know very uh, good scenario they can get the salary in three uh, salary of 3 to 4 lakh per month again but here the age will be 38 plus right so doctors usually they earn this amount when they are 40 40 plus or 42 plus right in their 40s they earn that amount otherwise in their 30s or in le uh, late 30s they can earn somewhere in between 1 to 3 lakhs it again it depends upon state it depends upon the hospital as well clear so i'll give you the example of aims okay so aims after completing the mbbs let's say you have cracked your entrance examination for the masters now you will join the hospital as a junior resident right so obviously that course will be for two to three years so let's say initially after all the deduction and all you will get an amount of 80,000 right 80,000 after all deductions I'm saying an amount of 80,000 which is very 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 good so if you do such degrees right if you work very hard and if you do your masters from AIMS and even from PGI MER which is in Chandigarh right you are going to get good amount of salary it is better than all the hospitals all the states of India right but so like let's say first year you are getting 80k uh, right and then basically the every year there will be an increase so yes doing your md you or uh, you doing your md or ms yes you can earn an amount a range of uh, an amount in between 80000 to 1 lakh right with a, because every year there will be an increment every year there will be an increment because this course is for 3 years so 80k 90k 1 lakh can be there but if i compare it with other states it can be just 50000 okay so by this time yes you can consider that your age will be if you just took one drop or even after MBBS if you just took uh, like uh, in your first attempt you qualified this exam or in second attempt then we can consider somewhere you are in um, 25 or 28 years 26 27 years old right this is what we can consider then after doing it right if you go for the special super speciality you are you know even uh, doing your dm and all and you join a senior senior resident then yes from such hospitals 1.2 lakh 1.3 1.4 this is what you can earn and this is again as i said it's the best scenario right when you are doing all that courses from the aims then you will earn 
this amount otherwise in other states this will be the amount that you are going to get right even after studying for eight to nine years right even after studying for eight to nine years just imagine okay so keep such things in your mind like in uh, tamil nadu also the salary is not that good if i'll tell you now let's talk about the bms right again this course is for 4.5 years and one year internship is compulsory so freshers right like let's say they go to the private uh, hospitals or something they can get a salary amount in between 20000 to 50000 again when you will start you will get it 20000 25000 with the time with experience you can reach to 50000 so let's say if you will open your clinic and if it is working fine if it is working fine so with the time with age yeah you can say that up to the age of 30 you can earn somewhere in the range 50k to 1 lakh but again if you are going thinking to open your clinic then expenses you have to bear the expenses so accordingly even if you are earning 50,000 to 1 lakh so you know that right you have to spend as well so you will get 60,000 or 50,000 in your pocket. This is what I can say, right? So very few go for the masters because uh, there is no much difference of salary after completing BMS, even after the masters. So very few go for the masters then accordingly, you know, the uh, increment is there. But I'll say that if you go to the government sector, but in, because in private hospitals, no doubt salary, you can get good salary, right? Hike will be there, right? With every year, hike will be there. But again, again, mostly people go for the government jobs and you know that they are very limited. So every year increment will be there accordingly in different, different states, different salary will be there. But on an average, you can say as a fresher, the salary range can be somewhere in between 20 to 50. You can consider it 35 on an average. This is what I can suggest to you, right? So when uh, for BHMS and physiotherapy, again, their courses for 4.5 year and then internship is required. So in private sector, they can get a salary 25K per month. Okay, so by 30 years, there are chances to earn 60,000 at the age of 35 plus. It can go 1 to 1.5 lakh if you work very hard, if you have that name in the market, right? If And for the physiotherapists uh, therapists also, if you know they start their session by their own, then there are chances. But again, you have to work very hard. For BDS also, freshers, they can earn 40k for after MDS, right? On an average, I'm telling you, on an average, right? If you are doing it from a very good college or uh, if you are doing it from a very good, uh, you are in a very good hospital, then this range can vary. There can be an increase to 10 to uh, 15,000, but ultimately it will be like this. So 30 age may 80k with age 40, uh, you know, uh, 40 when they are 40 or 40 plus, then there are chances in best case scenario that they can earn up to 2 lakhs, but they have to work very hard to reach to that salary. Okay. Okay, so after B pharmacy, freshers in the private sector, they can also earn up to 40,000, right, right. And after M pharma up to 60,000 and in private sector, let's say you will start your own medical store or something, right. Then accordingly, you know that it is also a degree where even if you start your work, if you have that capital, then you, there are chances that you will earn very good, right. There are chances that you will earn lakhs in a month. It depends in which state you are, in which uh, place you are doing all that things, right. If you are thinking to open your own store, right. After BSc nursing in the States, yes, freshers can get 30,000 salary. But let me tell you students, right, if you come do these courses from AIMS or from PGI, MER, Chandigarh, then yes, even after, because this course is also for four years, so even after that, you can earn a salary of 70,000 to 80,000 rupees. Yes, yes, yes. So this is the salary which doctors are also not getting after completing their MBBS or when they have joined the MD in some states. But if you complete, if you do your degree from the AIMS or from PGIMER, yes, even as a fresher, there are chances that you can earn the salary in between this range. That's a fact. That's a fact. In these center funded hospitals, you earn very good, right? You earn very good even after the paramedical courses, right? Even after the paramedical courses, if there is a, the vacancy, there are chances that you will earn. After that four years, of course, you can earn somewhere in the range 70,000 to 80,000. But in other states, right, BSc, after BSc nursings, freshers, they earn 30,000, right? On an average, again, I'm saying 30,000, but see the difference here. So if you are thinking to go for the nursing or something, then again, I'll suggest you one thing, people, that please, please, and please work hard and try to crack these examinations. So I hope you will get a better idea that how much do doctors earn, right? You are not in that myth. Doctors are very rich. They earn a lot, right? And if you're thinking to join this profession just to earn money, then please, 
don't waste your time right because there are other professions where after studying for three or four years you can earn very good right you can earn very good but if you are thinking that you are going to earn very good money after becoming a doctor it's a big no yeah in your late 30s or in 40s there are chances that you will earn too good but before that no okay but but again as i said that students they opt uh, you know mbbs just to serve right because it is a very noble profession and even if you are thinking like that then you know which batch is for you this is your phoenix 2.0 batch right your phoenix 2.0 batch which started on 25th of may and guys trust me our students are loving this batch right they are loving our energy they are loving our enthusiasm so if you are looking for the best teachers panel then this batch is for you in the description box of the video you will get the link you have to click on that link and you have to enroll in that batch and you are going to get it at a very 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 basic price right students i'll open up the link i'll tell you so in this batch in this batch it's not like that if you will enroll in this batch right if let's say you will enroll in this batch right for one year so one for one year you will get the access of all the batches all the batches on an academy platform for one year right you will get the test series you are going to get the test series you are going to get the access of all the test series right you will get enrolled in the crash course automatically without even paying a single penny just imagine right so what you have to do it's a limited time offer you have to click on that link and you have to enroll in our batch where you will get the access of all the batches running throughout the academy platform you want to study in our batch like sometimes it happen you know our favorite teacher is teaching in some other panel right we want to study a particular subject let's say you want to study physics from some other teacher so you can watch that lectures also so it's like that right so this is what you are going to get on this platform so you will get your class notes you will get the dpps to practice you will get the marathon sessions after the completion of each chapter you guys are going to get the marathon sessions. so guys do not miss it at all so let me show you go to our channel an academy need english you can click on any video of mine right so in the description box guys there will be a link for one year subscription so click on that link okay click on that link so see for one year you just need to pay 4000 417 rupees per month it is that right this amount is that less right so if you are in class 11th you want to buy the subscription for two years you can go for it so if you go for iconic you will get you know some extra benefits like a hard copy of the notes will be delivered to your do doorstep right and for the plus you will get the pdf of all the notes right of all the books right bache so join this batch asap i want to see maximum students in our batches because we are going to qualify neat this year if you are going to follow us trust me no one is going to stop uh, no one can stop you to crack your neat UG examination so take care right so if you want me to make video on some other topic do let me know in the comment section take care guys thank you so much